Elliot, a great win for the boys this afternoon over Bromley. Four games unbeaten now as well, so there's a, a real kind of confidence about the boys. Yeah, we was excellent today. I thought from the start we come out uh, early goal, settled everyone. I think uh, and to get another one, we just first half could have been five or six. Really could have. Um, they didn't have a sniff. Uh, second half we thought we were professional. We limited them to a couple of chances, but. Yeah, fantastic win and brilliant performance as well. Said about first half, didn't really give them a sniff. As a goalkeeper, how do you try and keep yourself concentrating in those situations? Because they did rarely threaten the goal, didn't they, in the first half? Yeah, they, they didn't get near us. I mean, we, we were organised. Uh, it is nice not to have, you know, because the lads are doing the job. Um, you know, it's windy and that, testing conditions. But, you know, I thought we were very professional today. Second half, a couple of great saves uh, from yourself. Uh, if you can remember and try and kind of poke it out in terms of the one that's just behind you here, uh, where the ball did get a deflection on its way through to you, was it just pure instinct or you can't really remember what happened? It's all just a blur. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go with pure instinct. But I, did, I must admit, I got stuck in the mud, to be fair, in that goal mouth. So I just had to use anything I could to keep it out. And fortunately, it uh, landed to one of us. So, um, And the second one was a one-on-one. -on -one. I think he, he, he didn't expect me to be so high. And thankfully, uh, he hit me and went wide. So. But that's a second clean sheet at home in a row now for yourself as well. Uh, and obviously, sadly, they have been uh, not as, as regular as you would have wanted as a goalkeeper this year. But to get two back-to-back -back at home, again, the, the confidence is now coming through the boys. Likewise, with the wins, getting the clean sheets too. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we said that. We, we rectified that against Sutton, but we said we ain't had one for, well, barring on five and a half months. You know, it's too long. Um, so, we, you know, with Kenny coming in, we demand clean sheets. Um, and Sutton, thankfully, we did. And today, again, I... Like I say, another good clean sheet and long may it continue. And it did come as well with a bit of a change back line. Obviously, Kenny missing today, uh, Ben Goodliffe coming in at centre-half, but still there was that, that vocal ability in the, across the back line again. Yeah, I thought we were very vocal today. I think uh, we need to carry that forward because um, it, w it has been quiet at times this season, but I think especially lately it's been very, very vocal and obviously almost had a clean sheet. May Ned shoot off probably. Um, but in general, it's, uh, we're getting a good understanding and whoever comes in is filling the shirt well. So. You spoke earlier as well about the uh, conditions, so obviously wind, not ideal uh, for goalkeepers like yourself. I mean, what is it like uh, being a goalkeeper in these conditions? Is it a case of just trying to kind of come out and claim everything that comes your way? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you've got to respect every ball even more so. Um, obviously you do anyway, but especially when it's, it could swell anywhere. Uh, it's just taking your time and as best you can judge it. And thankfully, uh, we didn't have too many hiccups today, so it was uh, positive. 12 points clear of the bottom four now, um, yeah, pretty much on the verge of safety I would say and, and especially after where this club started at the start of the season, what a great achievement that is. Yes, yeah, fantastic, I mean I was one of the lads here and it was tough the first two months, if you said to me we'd be here I would have, uh, I, well it wouldn't have happened, I, I just couldn't see it happening but with, with the people we've brought in and the lads who have stayed, we've been fantastic. Um, the form, we had a little bit of a dip uh, to drag us back in but thankfully we're clear and clear and uh, get a few more points we'll be safe. And I suppose now as well once safety is secured it, the kind of goal then is to really try and finish on a high and, and kind of lay the groundwork for what is hopefully a successful campaign next year. Definitely I mean we need to you can't take your foot off especially where we was at the start of the season and people are playing for their futures as well if you want to be part of something successful you've got to go to the end so we, we'll certainly be doing that and uh, we won't let the standards drop.